Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo, here to do your October love reading. Um, if you're new to my channel, please do click like, share, and subscribe. Everything you need to know is in the description box below this video. Um, personal readings, all that. So we're going to take a look. This is going to be your general love reading. So keep in mind that the message may or may not resonate. Just take what fits, leave the rest. If none of it fits, come back tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll be doing your weekend love reading. So definitely stay tuned for that. Okay, you've got soulmates and kisses. And you had kisses yesterday. <laughs> Maybe this continuation of the drama in your love life, Virgo, if you have any drama. Somebody's got drama. Okay, a soul connection, partnership, an agreement, a soul contract, unconditional love, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. Okay. All right, nice. So there's a soulmate connection here, Virgo, showing up in this reading. Let me see. What else do you What else do you have? Coffee cup. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Why is that crazy? Because I was thinking of this card before I started shuffling. I thought to myself, wow, we haven't seen coffee cup in a while. Here it is. Okay. Somebody's going to have coffee. You're meeting somebody or you met someone, had coffee over um had coffee together connecting with someone or someone really loves coffee um, somebody kisses you and they have coffee breath <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay so yeah soulmates coffee cup kisses there's this feels like hmm all right so I don't want to get into just yet if this is someone new or if this is somebody else I'm just going to give you the reading of what I'm picking up here is that you're either right now you could be Although if you're on a date with someone or you're with someone else, you listen to this reading. Maybe you're listening to it together. There, I just there's a coffee house, there's a coffee place, there's a connection with a soulmate. This could be friends, but maybe there's some kisses, and this turns into a little bit more. Okay, um, there's affection, there's a falling in love type of an energy. This could be like with another person signing a contract. You could be doing business, and somebody gives somebody a kiss, and it's like oh okay I didn't expect that look we got coffee we got coffee right here uh, yeah somebody gets a kiss and it's like whoa it's it's not professional but it's like ooh, <laughs> it's so weird so yeah I just see that now um, I just see two people signing some contracts or something and you know generally in a professional setting it's not giving kisses goodbye to each other but someone plants one and it's kind of somebody's taken off guard like whoa okay an energy like that there's a soulmate connection being made here in October okay over coffee all right let me see <laughs> goodness what does the romance angels want to tell you Virgo what do the romance angels want to tell you this is so sweet though I mean seriously giving and receiving affection this is like a falling in love a spark over coffee let me see what does the romance angels want to tell you okay trust situation is calling for you to have faith virgo in this situation they're not calling you to have faith in a person they're saying calling to have faith in a situation okay codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life okay let's see here and forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moments and retreat okay so there's somebody here maybe is recovered or recovering from like maybe a drug and alcohol kind of thing and there's like somebody goes to a meeting with someone or there's like um you know maybe you're recovering from something and there's all this love there's all this love going around okay um someone's signing some contracts or a paper in regard to a trust or a will i do feel like that energy is going on so maybe this is you this is you virgo i feel like um whatever it is okay the, let me just see real quick the coffee cup energy just gives me the sense that this is like two people sitting across from each other and a connection gets made Okay, between you and another person and like something starts you want to be started something got to be started something something starts here I just did a little MJ did I do a little MJ is that Michael Jackson maybe somebody's name is Michael or Jack 
Okay, let me see. <laughs> Show me what else does Virgo need to know that's going on here on the love front. What is this? Oh, for some of you, it's like you're with a counselor or something and they give you a kiss. It's like, hold up. I don't think you're supposed to do that. You kiss me on the lips. You know, you're not supposed to kiss me on the lips. <laughs> If you're going to kiss me, it's got to be a little more professional on the cheek or I don't know. It's just so weird. It's it's a kiss of some sort in a place that might be professional or in a place that doesn't feel like it should be happening. OK, so Ten of Swords energy is here. OK, wow. Hold on a second. Oh. Okay, so they're just telling me somebody, someone here breaks down and gives a kiss. Oh, gosh, it's like weird. They just gave me an image of Joe Pesci um, when someone offers him a Snickers bar and says, uh, you're not yourself here. Have this Snickers bar. Like someone acts out of character, which I don't know why they're giving me that Snickers commercial. And oh and Joe Pesci, but that's what I'm picking up. Someone acts out of character here. Okay, this is like, or they betray another person. This feels kind of like, ooh, or they betray another person. They're not supposed to do this, but some kind of spark gets made. Oh, look, Knight of Pentacles. Okay, interesting. Yeah, um, they just gave me the word paralegal. Somebody might be a paralegal or works in some type of accounting. Um, finishing what they started. Finishing what they started. Some, okay. This is a work situation for some. It's connected to a work situation. We're connecting with someone in regards to business, finances, and work. This person is very conservative, generally very conservative. Maybe they're politically conservative, but their demeanor you know, they're, 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 but they're persistent. I just feel like you get a kiss from someone and it's completely out of character for this person. And yet you're questioning like, what was that? Did I just imagine that, that kiss? There's a soulmate connection here. Okay, let me see. This is such an interesting message. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah. Somebody doesn't like, it's like whoever this person is. Okay. We have Gemini again, Capricorn, um, cancer, whoever this person is, their energy is like, Oh, now they're giving me this song. I don't want to miss a thing. It's a country song. Is it lady Annabellum? I think, I don't know who it is. Somebody here is doing this. It's out of character because like, there's a connection. Somebody's falling in love or someone falls in love with you. Or there's some kind of thing that happens. Wow. You know, and this person's like, I don't want to miss this opportunity. Or I don't want to miss a thing. Is it maybe Aerosmith? I'm not sure. Steven? <laughs> Steven? Um, okay. Wow. This is crazy. Oh, okay. Now we have Libra and energy here. King of Swords. Um, it's just an energy, male or female. This person generally plays it cool. They might be a lawyer or they work in um, some type of intellectual field or in law enforcement or something in law, maybe politics. Um, they might have like a, a podcast or they do something. There's a lot of communication connected to this person. Very smart. They could be a surgeon um, or somebody that does something with a knife, maybe even a sword. Okay, Virgo, I feel like for you, you know, you're single. This is for those of you who are just completely single. Um, you don't want any trouble, but I got to tell you, like some kind of burden is going to be lifted off your shoulder in October. Some kind of burden, some kind of uphill struggle. Oh, there's healing. You've got some healing connected to you here, Virgo. You're healing from something. Hmm. Getting your hope back, feeling inspired. It might have something to do with a kiss or something. Someone expresses love that they're interested in you. Um, yeah, there's definitely a healing situation here. Uh, you're going to be feeling rejuvenated after a long struggle that you've been having, whether that's, well, it's been affecting you physically, okay? Causing stress. Felt like you had a lot of weight on your shoulders. Somebody's coming in here 
to um, relieve some of that burden, but then they also, they're coming in with this love and affection for you. This is soulmate connection here. Um, also, Sagittarius, another Virgo, Aquarius. Okay, there's some type of connection. Oh, wow, Virgo, okay. Yeah, you've been in kind of silent mode, Virgo. You've been in silent mode. Maybe your birthday is September 17th. You've been kind of hiding, sitting back. Maybe your birthday is September 9th. Um, you've been sitting, hiding, stepping back, not saying anything, not revealing anything, getting your healing in, um, gaining your, back your power here with the star because the star is where all the energy is absorbing all you, you've been like a solar panel sitting on a roof just sucking up the sun getting your energy back you haven't been moving you haven't been doing anything you've just been draining all this energy from the sun from the stars and just trying to get yourself in like um powered up i feel powered up um you're you're getting i do see in october you're getting your strength and your courage and your stamina back i just i don't feel like it's weird because you're here doing you and I feel like you're going to agree to connect with someone like I said over coffee um, it could be um, a friendship romantic could possibly be a dating situation for some of you it's connecting over to sign some papers or contracts or meet somebody for something specific like a, a business deal of some sort but I, I, I see somebody here like stepping out of line and, and planning a kiss on you or giving some kind of love and affection or blowing you a kiss or doing something like that where it's like it kind of catches you off guard yeah here you are with the queen of pentacles too so it kind of catches you off guard you're like not even paying attention you're looking down reading over the fine print looking at your coffee cup and it just like smack like a little kiss just it's cute. I mean, it's cute. <sighs> yeah. Okay. So, let's see here. We got the Five of Cups. Yeah. Because a lot of you, um, you know, you're grieving a loss of some sort. And you're very defensive. Um, this is just going to take you off. This is going to catch you off guard in October. Let me see when in October this might be playing out for some of you. Because I'm tremendously curious. This video is going to be a little bit short. Um, or a lot, a lot short. One of my quickies tonight. Let me see when this is going to take place in October. Or sometime around this particular date. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, all right, October 20th. October 20th, there's going to be some kind of, all right, is somebody 53? If you're 53, or you were born in 1953, or you're 35, um, this is going to be specifically for you. Okay, we have Scorpio twice here for some of you. Okay, Leo and Aries for sure. Okay, um, 101, uh, the number 73. You have, okay somebody is on the cusp of leo cancer and leo that's a cancer leo cusper i'm picking up so it could be this could be the sign of that person um somebody also august 3rd so that's a leo energy okay very interesting let me see try to find out i say this is like kiss of a lifetime this is like unexpected but I don't know there's something here about because it feels kind of like yesterday there's something about a kiss let me see what the Chinese sign is here for you guys oh I got a card that's flipped over what is that where'd it go okay we have an ox well that was specific let's see all right 
Year of the Pig. All right, Year of the Monkey. Okay, Pig again, Year of the Dog. All right, we've got a rabbit. Got a horse and a rat and the tiger okay so if i didn't call the chinese sign of you or your person don't worry it could be somebody new you don't know who they are yet you might know it but um it might not be here and that doesn't mean it's not your reading um let me get a few more messages i want to give you some an affirmation message let me see hold on one second Hi, everybody in the chat. Hope you're doing well. You know, I'm really going to try to make that meet and greet thing happen. So if you're interested, shoot me an email, houseovergo at gmail. Um, my email address is here on my channel. If you're interested, shoot me an email and let me know if that's something that you would like to attend so I could just kind of get a feel. Maybe I'll post a poll to see. All right, let me see. Virgo's affirmation message, or what does Virgo need to know for the month of October? Okay. Expect powerful change. Wow. New moon eclipse. When is the new moon in October? Oh, that's October 25th. So like five days after this thing happens, or sometime between the 20th and 25th, I just want to ask, is this going to turn into something? Let me just ask real quick. Is this like going to turn into something for Virgo or what is this? Is this someone Virgo would be interested in? Is this something Virgo is going to be interested in? I need to turn into something. Spirit, give us a card. Please tell Virgo, is this something that's going to turn into something beautiful because of this powerful change? Oh, maybe they don't want to know. Don't want you to know. New Moon Eclipse, October 20th through the 25th. Huh. Okay, Seven of Pentacles. It could. Definitely, there's a, there's something you're worth investing in. Definitely. I feel like with plenty of new, uh, nourishment, I feel like this is definitely something that can turn, that can have growth. Look. That one started as a, as a seed. This tree, money tree, maybe it's going to blow up your bank account for some of you. But yeah, I do feel like this is gonna, oh yeah. Okay, King of Cups for some of you. Um, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, or this is uh, you coming in with this energy of kind of like checking to see how you feel. Um, there's an energy here about watering. A lot, uh, water represents the emotions with enough nourishment and watering yeah i feel like in the long run this is something that can turn into something i just get a feeling that someone's very interested in you here and if this is like a business partner or a friend or someone you've been connecting with through or you meet for work or you do some kind of business exchange that you you have done with in the past there's a thing here um this person might actually ask you you know, after some kind of deal is done of some sort and say, hey, do you want to go get coffee sometime in October? Okay. So there's a, there's an opportunity here. There's a date. Um, or if there was a connection or someone you dated in the past, or there was something, there's somebody wants to sit down with you, wants to have coffee with you, or, you know, it could be a drink of any kind as well. But coffee cup represents meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted and friendship. So something turning into more. Oh, wow. Temperance, balance, harmony, coming into harmony with someone. This is such a, a lovely reading. I'm going to leave it here for you guys. Let me just get one charm real quick. Finish out the, 
the final. Okay. What the heck? Oh, this is a bird on a tree. I think I told you guys before this. I always thought this was like a lemon. No, it's a bird on a branch. I know you probably can't see it. Let me see if I can show it to you. It's like a little Tweety bird. Um, like a canary. There's a message coming for you. Somebody's, um, so the old story with the canary in the coal mine is where um, the miners, um, they would send a canary deep into the coal mine to make sure there wasn't any gas leaking. If the canary didn't come back out, that's how they knew that it wasn't safe to go into the coal mine because the canary was dead from, from the leak, the gas, or whatever it was, the fumes. Um, I don't know the, the technical scientific term for it, but if the canary came back out, that was like safe to go in. Okay, so I do get a sense that somebody's going to be kind of feeling you out, sending a canary out to see if it's safe to, you know, do this. And the minute that this person feels it's safe, they're going to act out of character and plant one on you and something's going to start here. So <laughs> the canary of love. I love it. All right, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed that sweet, cute little message. And I will be back here tomorrow with your uh, weekend reading so do tune in I'm sure you guys will and I will see you tomorrow all right take care